Hey, good day. I'm Liz. I can do it. Today I'm starting at Park Lake, which is just west of the Westgate and Algonquin Park. I'm going to be heading east, crossing seven lakes until I get to my campsite on Hilly Lake. I'll stay there for three nights and then I'm coming back, which is sounds easy, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> it's a challenge for me anyway. <laughs> Love ya. Love ya. See ya. See ya. Here we go. I'm headed down Park Lake. So calm this morning. It's only maybe 7.10. And it's so quiet. There's lots of water lilies and really pretty little tiny yellow flowers along the shore that I hope to show you later. I want to get down this lake and get going on my journey. I can hear the highway noise, which is the highway is right over there. And the visitor center is probably right underneath that tallest tree up on the hill straight there and I'm headed around that point there. I'll show you more later. See flowers, <laughs> water lilies, they're so pretty they're just opening but over here it's a whole area with these tiny little yellow flowers. It's just gorgeous. Like I keeps telling you, there's beauty everywhere. I've seen a couple of ducks. I crossed Park Lake. Now I'm, I guess, on Park Creek. I'm just about to enter Hobo Lake. But it's mostly boggy, swampy area. I saw a blue heron. And heard the blue jays and crows. And a nice hill on this side. But yeah, it's mostly swampy, boggy, and I haven't seen any sign of a moose, but I guess we're too close to the noise of the traffic because I'm pretty close to the highway. And I guess I must be behind the west gate, must be up over that hill, I think. And the Fen Lake ski trails are going down and over there through those hills somewhere. So this must be Hobo Lake. I'll swing around the corner into Snow Lake and see what waits me there. There, barely can see the sign. I did the portage, first portage. Not, it was easy. Now I'm about to head down Greenwood Lake just around the corner, I think, and then cross a little ways and to the next portage, which is 1K. So, and I hear it's very flat and easy. So, woohoo! See you there. Here we go. I'm on Greenwood. Pretty day. Pretty little clouds and a nice blue sky. Sparkly water. Green trees. Somewhere around this bend in the bay is supposed to be the portage. I watched a video where guys tried to find a portage. And the map says it's supposed to be on this peninsula that I'm standing on, but there's hardly even a moose path through all kinds of mess. Got a really bushwhack. There's nothing here. <clears throat> there's no path over in the bay over there. It's hard, hard to even get to the shore because the, all the whole shoreline is all bog and there's no solid ground. I don't know how you even get to the solid ground. I just tried to climb over some of it, couldn't find any path. Now the guys that did find it said they found a, like it was almost like an ATV trail, nice and smooth and flat, and I can't find anything. 
anything. I searched and bushwhacked through this peninsula. I paddled up and down this shoreline around the peninsula every up and down back and forth even in this bay where the path's not supposed to be i searched the shoreline over there so i don't know what else to do i can't find it i've been i looked for two hours going back and forth and i'm tired now boy anyway i found a semi open spot on this little peninsula and set up camp here. Got my tarp and hammock strung up. My canoe underneath with all my gear. Had lunch and I'm reading a book. I'm trying to contact my husband with the satellite phone because there's no cell service here. I thought we might have. We're kind of close to the highway thought I might hear the highway but I don't hear it but over in the bay over there which is the wrong way from where the uh, portage is supposed to be I heard ATVs ripping and roaring on some kind of path over the hill there so I'm just going to stay here tonight and try to figure out what to do for tomorrow I'll try to contact my husband let him know where I am and that I'm okay a little frustrated, but it's still beautiful here. There was yellow, tiny wee yellow flowers in the bog, and of course the white and yellow, I call them fried egg um, water lilies. Uh, the arrowheads are are blooming now too, which are a pretty purple. It's just it's so pretty, and there's other little things I've found too that were really pretty. Let's see if I can show you the arrowhead right on the shore here. I wanted to go swimming, but shoreline's all all a mess with lily pads. There's one little lonely arrowhead, but they're everywhere in the bog. And there's lily pads everywhere, so it's really, the bottom's a little bit sucky, muck. No fun for wading or walking or swimming. Anyway, got to figure out what to do for tomorrow. Still pretty here. Good morning on Greenwood Lake. We got a loon way out there, and last evening I had two beavers. I must be blocking their path up into the bush because they kept going back and forth in front of here and slapping their tail hard on the lake, even in the night. <laughs> it's dismal. It's thunderstormed in the night. It looks like it's going to be drizzly all day. Everything is pretty well damp. <laughs> Got an <our> umbrella. <coughs> Trying to pack things up. I got a mess. That's why I'm not doing a selfie, because I'm a mess. I'm making breakfast. I got no level ground here. It's really hard to do anything. Oh, it looks like my water's boiled. Gotta go. There we go. I'm back on snow. Heading out. I could not find the portage and I don't feel like bushwhacking. <laughs> I'm going back. I'm really frustrated and disappointed that I had to cut it short and not find that portage, but I had a fun adventure and a fun challenge anyway. I like challenges, so I had one. <laughs> Although I do like it when plans work out. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together, but it didn't this time. But I'm on Snow Lake, and uh, it's got a pretty big rock on it. And another rocky peninsula back further that I passed that looked like a good camp could be a good campsite but there's no campsites on this lake there are two houses though which I thought was weird but we're not really in the park yet so there you go um hoping I can get a hold of my husband to pick me up 